Yeah, flowko.tv, super cool. I I'm really happy to see that. Uh, and it even, it'll even tell you which round you're in. For example, this is currently the round of 64. Yeah, so if you uh, We're make We're in this top match. 64 right now. Exactly. That's so cool. That's so cool that that's being done live. Oh. Arena.flowko.tv. All right, so BJ Unchained coming here from Northern California with the Nikali he's been playing the whole time. Chris G landed on Guile pretty soon after the character came out, and uh, he's been one of the better ones since then. Yeah, I like the pick. Uh, I'm not sure how much... You know, there's so few really strong Guile players. It's curi I'm curious to know how much BJ knows this matchup, really, and it's kind of just playing on, like, uh, I think I know how to fight Guile. Well, I can tell you that Chris doesn't really believe in Guile. He doesn't think the character's very good. Okay. But he does like playing it because he gets uh, to do the loop, the loop and, and, you know, he sort of has uh, some opportunities to get in and also to zone, both of which he likes and is good at. Yeah. So and he can also play Control, which I think he's really good at. He is. I mean, that's how he was the best player in Marvel. Yeah, big jump in behind the boom. And, you know, Chris made up uh, that V-Trigger popped early. He didn't get the loop off of it, but, you know, he got about 50% just off the strength of that. So yeah, no, I think I, he'll take it. For sure. Uh, now BJ on chain got to move in. Slowly moving forward. If you get super, you can be very dangerous, of course. I yeah. love these setups from Chris. I'm, I almost feel like I'm watching different angles of Morgan fireballs being thrown, different timings of that. Super coming in! Yes. Should be the round if wow. you got it. I think and so. He did. Yeah, that's the round for BJ Unchained. Built all that meter in it. You just mentioned moments ago, that's when he becomes most dangerous, right? Got that low forward V trigger cancel. It's the big stomp, and that's the round. Uh, so just so quickly, he built up a ton of meter and played most of that match full screen as Nikali. Yeah, there was a lot of damage at the very start, and then there was a huge portion of control by Guile, but at the end, that's all BJ Unchained needed was that last hit. Right. So here's this mid range stuff. Guile can really control well. Oh, missed the link. And yeah, so far, oh, that was a big jump from Chris. He's got corner and immediate reversal from BJ. It was a risk, that's for sure. If that had been blocked, that might have been stun and the death. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, you know, it's important to establish that. You don't want to get yourself run over. And Gal does have pretty solid frame traps in this game. Oh, no, no anti here. No That's the, probably one of the first times he's missed it so far. It Chris is, got yeah, away he had it two or three times in the previous round. Ah, uh, lands on the boom, Woo! the reset. And that, Chris is so good at following those booms, capitalizing on them. Like you know, I said, I feel, I feel like we're watching Morgan. Yeah, his reactions and ability to, you know, kind of freestyle behind the booms is really strong. I know, I, I know he doesn't believe that much in Gal, but uh, I'll tell you, I, I really do. Yeah, I mean, you know who it does? Who told me yesterday he's the best DLC character is Justin Wong. Interesting. He really believes in this character, and, I, you know, I could totally see why. Uh, Chris so far... Love the way he's playing the big jump forward. It's not it's not turned into anything, but it was the right idea. At the same time, from BJ Unchained's perspective, I don't mind him playing full screen. If he can build B-Trigger with that size mode, then that's fantastic for him. Yeah, the only issue really is that Chris gets to set out this V-Scale boom and move behind it. Right. When he, then that happens, it's definitely no good for Brian. He's got to try to prevent that if at all possible. That EX boom, it's so fast. And now that the V-Scale's out, you see Chris got so much screen space. A challenge with uppercut, but those are scary to do. Backing off a little bit to a more comfortable spot. I think Chris is waiting for the jump. It didn't come until their boom was out. Nice patience by BJ. Yeah, and, and you see, you know, a lot of uh, gray damage added up for BJ, but that turns into V gauge, right? Oh, what a jump. Chris just saw that a second ago and, and mistimed it. There's Close the link death. time. Yeah, instead of going in after, he chooses to get that V scale boom, and now but BJ on chain just okay. a bit. Now that speed is there. He can't just walk into Sobats. Those Sobats are pretty solid. Oh, the air to air, the challenge. Kyle does stomp. not have truly invincible options without meter. He has no meter to work with. As oh, the spacing. He walked just out of range of that fierce. Snapped in that four medium kick. Good work. So I really like Guile's ability to close out rounds. I think yeah. it's so strong. He can attack so suddenly from from far. With EX Boom, with Sobat, the medium kick. Yeah. With uh, back short, the knee. Right. Uh, of course, the setups, if he has V Trigger, he can use them to set things uh, if he really. Or like a skill boom, right? And yeah, follow behind boom, that. right. I really feel like he's one of the best at closing out around. Yeah, he has an overhead. There's so many things. Oh, the whiff punish, man. Chris G is really taking control of the neutral now. And oh, there's no anti air. I think that's a sign of Chris just really smothering BJ from a lot of angles. Yeah, I, th I think you're right. I think you're right. It's going to be tough to recover from that. But specifically, BJ, I think, does have to look for that. Yeah, he's got to watch the dash and approach the jump. Okay, dive kick this time, and Chris looked for down fears. Chris was waiting for a jump. Had charge, didn't no, come. His own jump again. again. Man. That's a big sign for Chris. Yeah, and he moves Beautiful. in behind it. It's still there. And the quick rise, you don't really want to quick rise that as it, you know, you stand up into the boom. If you delay rise, you can't get as much. But a lot of people, you know, still trying to figure out Guile. There's the reset. 
And another uppercut. He's got trigger. But I feel like that's been most of the damage that BJ has dealt with those panic situations, and he just hasn't been able to build on them. Right, and it, all it takes is one of those to be blocked for Chris to get, you know, 40% swing off of it. Right. Uppercut this time, and now corner positioning. Okay, no meter on Chris's side. He doesn't have it. Oh! Another! Does he reset her the damage? He wants damage. Another cast BJ has to have right. Oh, got it! That could be. What oh, did he get out of living? This? Oh, he no. dropped it anyway. The jump over, and Chris uses the opportunity to get Those out of there. Are still there. No gauge left, and that should be punished. It is now match point for Chris G over BJ Unchained. Huge bet by BJ to come in with that. I don't know. That, that's not a good sign. And it, it was not even like, it was kind of a reaction, but if you can react, it's too late already. Exactly, yeah, especially against Kyle. Here's the anti air. So important to establish this. And he tries, okay, that time he does the shorter one just to get in. And the challenge, man, Chris G sticks out the button, follows under the boom to get out of the corner. Oh, beautiful, man. Chris G's spacing and awareness so good right now. Combo. Oh, they, he's so good. Oh, and it's stunned. It should be the round if Chris can hit the whole combo. And there it is. Chris G over BJ Unchained. Such sick, controlled guile play. I love also that.